Hello. This is Satsuma, Becca's cat. We love Sumi. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi hello i'm lydia and in case you didn't gather from the intro becca's cat satsuma has come to live with us today i thought i'd do a video about living with a cat when you have severe allergies to cat um, here's a picture of what I was like on day one of Satsuma being here. Um, as you can see, I am allergic to cats. I, I know I'm allergic to cats. I've literally been tested. It was Cats are like one of my worst allergies, <laughs> next to bees. Bees and Satsuma. So I found out I was allergic to cats when I was like 14 and I had an allergy test done. In short, the reason I had the allergy test done is because my nose does not go straight down. It actually goes to the, the bone goes to the side and the side swells up, making it so I literally cannot breathe through my nerves. But as you can imagine, it, it's not easy living with, with a cat when you are literally allergic to them all the time, especially Satsuma. Like, I love Satsuma, he's amazing, he's a lovely cat. But I, I like giving cuddles. He's currently, he's got this ball thing for his food and he's past tapping it around to try and cheat it. Sumi, that defeats the whole object of it. Not that you care. <laughs> Suma came to live with us last Wednesday. Uh, it's nearly been a week. For the first like six days, <laughs> like five, six days, I had to literally sleep in the lounge. Sumi! I had to sleep in the lounge because I was having a really bad allergic reaction to this little fella. I say little. Oh, Sumi's! So, uh, as you can see, I have had to buy a lot of different products so I can actually live with a cat. Obviously allergy is worse in a sense where if you are exposed to it, they eventually ease up. Today I haven't had to have any allergy tablets, but I have sprayed everything with stuff and that's why I want to make this video about. The thing is with me is it's the, mainly the fur that I'm allergic to. The fact that it sticks to like my clothes, the bedding, everything is a, is a problem for me. And I actually found this on Amazon when I was looking for allergy relief. Um, you spray it and it stops it from attaching and it also, if there is any fur, it neutralises it so it doesn't affect my breathing. I need to be able to breathe, believe it or not. Um, it just comes, like this is the 350ml so it comes like this like just your average bottle and i have actually found this to be long for me um like since i got it I, i've been able to cuddle satsuma i've been able to sleep in the bedroom i've been able to be around him more which is good because you know <laughs> me and becca kind of like being together we don't like being in one room like we don't like being in separate room it's got really good spray range as well this it's literally probably one of the best things i own at the minute but i love how boring see trying to break into the cupboard come here it's okay okay zoom 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 Zooms. Yeah, go back to eating. So that spray has really helped. As you can imagine, it stops me reacting horrifically to Satsuma. So yeah, like this spray is amazing. What are you doing? I better not hear chlorine. Looking after Satsuma, <laughs> looking after a child. Um, I'm gonna link all these products down below anyway. Um, so this is random. I'm doing a video on what's in my handbag and everything. But uh, this is what's in my takeout bag. I've got my EpiPen. 
which I'm allergic to bees. In here, I've got like my inhaler. I also have antibacterial wipes, but who doesn't? So I have this, which is a nasal spray. It helps with the fact that my nose gets really blocked up when I'm around cats. Yeah, I actually found, I found it really helpful. Another thing I do have, and this is simply because my eyes always swell up when I have an allergic reaction. I actually got these eye drops and they are literally a lifesaver for me. I have these in my med box and I keep one in my going out box. Um, I have ibuprofen as well, like counts or anything. Some tips on living with a cat when you're allergic. One, give yourself a few days to get used to them. So see them, like, go in the room with them. I was thinking with Becca, it's like Becca's been in the bedroom with satsuma and i've been in the living room i keep kept coming in to play with satsuma and then i kept going away when i have started to have an allergic reaction and in the space of about a week i've got very used to satsuma and like i said i haven't had to take any allergy tablets however i do take two different kind of allergy tablets when i need to or i take benadryl which is benadryl is very fast acting it's 15 minutes for me that works better because i don't start having a light like allergic reaction i start off full on my eyes are the first thing that poof up and uh eyesight's not so great then also make sure you like clean up the fur like i said i have the spray which means cat fur doesn't stick to anything too much like obviously there's still fur here and there because you you can't spray everywhere up until like well meeting becca i've always been like because i used to have a cat and then we had to rehome him because of my allergies uh when we got satsuma here it was i, I knew i was going to be ill for the first few days i i, I knew i even said to becca that like, i'm literally going to be dying for three days and i was <laughs> more bitches um i have a really ridiculous reaction to cats and it's annoying it's annoying being allergic to cats like it's really annoying because I, I i love kitty cuddles i love kitty cuddles i just wanted to make this video because i know there's a lot of people out there who have allergies to things and oftentimes it gets in the way of things and sometimes people don't realize how bad reactions can be to such small things so my allergy to cats like you you wouldn't think it's like gonna push me to like death's door and like it literally i on the first day i had to see but my throat tightened up so much that i was like am i gonna have to use my happy pan I don't think people actually realise like how allergies can be. Like it doesn't matter if it's food, it doesn't matter if it's not food. Like they reactions vary, and I think it's important to realise that an allergy to cats, an allergy to bees, an allergy to friggin' dust, they can all be serious. Like there's no allergy that is worse than another. Any allergy has the capability of causing allergy relaxant. Anyway, but like any allergy can cause that. Yeah, I just thought that because I've got loads of new things for that. I thought I'd. Um... <sighs> I'm so tired. I've been awake since like half eight, and I am. Um, I also start taking 100 milligrams of lamotrigine today, and I, 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 I've literally fallen over because I keep getting really lightheaded. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you want me to do more videos where I talk about different things in my life let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to do that if you want more cat videos let me know go follow Becca go show her some love and Satsuma has an Instagram and so does Nimbles we have a cat Instagram we have a hamster Instagram feel free to follow us on Twitter we do use that regularly I am basically always on Twitter um thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys soon with another one and if you're new don't forget to leave a comment down below if you've got any questions or video ideas or just want to say hi say hi and also while you're down there may as well hit the thumbs up button and if you want to be notified every single time i upload make sure you turn notifications on and set to all thank you guys and i'll see you guys soon bye
that is the kind of story you should see.